Do you want to find loads of diamonds but you don't want to use cheats or dupes and you want to do survival vanilla Minecraft? I'm going to show you how to find diamonds in survival Minecraft lots of different ways. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night and welcome to this quickie video from me, Avamance. Today we are going to talk about all the different ways that you can get diamonds in Minecraft. We need diamonds in Minecraft. Diamonds are not just a girl's best friend. Diamonds are a Minecrafter's best friend. We can make the best tools and weapons out of diamonds. We make the best armour out of diamonds. We can use diamond blocks for different things including beacon pyramids. We can trade diamonds for emeralds with villagers, armourers, weaponsmiths, toolsmiths. Although frankly, between you and me, use other things. Diamonds are a complete waste in that department. They are used to purchase things on SMPs and on multiplayer servers where they are used as a currency. They are a hugely important block and I want to show you how to get as many as possible. Let's go and look at the ways now. The first way we're going to talk about is the way most people think of when they first go and look for diamonds and that is mining. There are two different ways in which you can mine. The first is caving and the second is by what I call grinding which is things like branch mining. Always try if you can to put the fortune enchantment onto your pickaxe before you go mining for diamonds. It makes a massive difference and I'll tell you just how much in a minute. There are a few ways in which you can get the fortune enchantment. The first is to come into an enchantment table and cross your fingers, pop in an iron pickaxe and see whether or not you can actually get fortune. Often you do not. Let's see what we end up with. Oh, fortune three. <laughs> that was a little bit lucky. You can also enchant books directly in the hope that you get fortune. However, there are a lot of enchantments and as a result, you may have to kiss a lot of frogs before you get the right book. You can trade with a librarian villager and try and get a fortune book this way. However, you're not guaranteed that it's going to be fortune. You can enchant using an anvil. You can get fortune one books, fortune two books and fortune three books. Or alternatively, you can combine two books of the same fortune value to get the next one. Fortune three is the highest level. When you mine with a fortune one pickaxe, you have a one in three chance, 33% of getting two diamonds instead of just one. If you use a fortune two, you've got a one in four chance of getting two diamonds and a one in four chance of getting three diamonds. So that's a 50% chance of getting an increased yield. You also have fortune three, the best. You have a one in five chance of getting two diamonds, a one in five chance of getting three diamonds and a one in five chance of getting four diamonds. That is a 60% chance of an increased yield. And some of that is a significantly increased yield. Once you've got your Fortune 3 book, grab your pickaxe, grab your book, put it into an anvil and take out your beautiful Fortune 3 pickaxe. I've brought up the chunk borders by pressing F3 and G on the PC just to show you that diamonds are generated by chunk. One vein of diamond ore blocks should generate in each chunk with an average of 3.7 diamond ore blocks in it. Obviously not 0.7 of a block, they'll be between 3 and 4 very often. However, because of the way structures grow and lava grows under the ground, you will find that some chunks will have no diamonds and others may have more. However, you will only ever find diamond ore blocks generated naturally underground from level 16 on the Y and below, and most commonly on level 12 to 5. Many people believe that the cave-in technique is the best way to find diamonds because you basically walk around these open caves, you don't burn through tools, and as a result, you don't have any wastage. Look, here are some open diamonds. The downside is you only really see them when they're open or you have to dig around. To demonstrate this Fortune 3 tool, if I dig out, how many diamond blocks? Four diamond blocks, that's given me seven diamonds, where normally, it would only give me four. The other very popular way of finding your diamonds underground is by using a branch mine. Come down to Y11 and cut out a three high, one wide channel, three blocks apart. That will make it almost impossible for you to miss any of the goodies and then come at it and just drive through as much as you can. Not only are you gonna get diamonds, but you're gonna get other stuff like this lapis plus anything else. Make sure you place a torch every 10th block and here we have some diamonds already let's pop a torch there dig around them to make sure there's nothing nasty behind it because the last thing you want to do is lose your diamonds to lava i think we are safe 
let's uh, just pop myself back up here. And here we're going to get these diamonds. How many have we got? One, two, three, and let's gamble. Four. Okay, four diamonds. And we have added 13 diamonds to our stack. However, there are a lot of different ways to get diamonds other than just mining. And to find them, we need to go and open a lot of different chests. You can find them in the chests of toolsmiths and weaponsmiths in various villages. Toolsmiths in about 1 in 10 and weaponsmiths in about 1 in 6. If you fancy yourself as a bit of an Indiana Jones, then you can do some temple raiding. In Java, jungle temples offer diamonds in 1 in 8 chests, only in stacks of 1. In bedrock, there could be as many as 3 in here. Desert pyramids have diamonds in 1 in 16 chests, but bearing in mind that you get 4 chests in each desert pyramid, that actually means 1 in 4 desert pyramids will have diamonds, and they will generate in up to stacks of 3 on Java as well. But whatever you do, don't step over here. That never ends well. Shipwreck chests will also give you diamonds, about one in six chests will have diamonds inside them in stacks of just one. Minecraft treasure maps in both Java and Bedrock will also yield you diamonds and about one in two will do so. So let's see, we are about here. Let's dig it out. Where, hey, there it is. Right. Oh, well, not this one. They normally come in stacks of one or two. In a mine shaft, about 1 in 10 mine carts with chests will give you diamonds, like this one, just in stacks of 1. About 1 in 18 chests that spawn in strongholds, and this stronghold looks pretty broken, will have diamonds in it, so it's pretty rare. Don't be surprised if you don't find any. The same is true in both Java and Bedrock. And if you come through the end portal in that stronghold, kill that big black lizard and find yourself an end city, one in five chests that you find in these cities are going to give you some diamonds. In fact, they're going to give you diamonds in stacks of between two and seven. Look, in this one alone, there are ten diamonds. And not only that, you can get some really very, very nice diamond equipment as well. Look at that. Efficiency three, mending and unbreaking three on a shovel. What a waste on a shovel. So if you follow the tips in this video, you can be clad in diamonds with perfect diamond weapons and perfect diamond tools, although never ever make a diamond hoe. What a waste. And loads and loads of excess diamonds for you to spend on your SMPs or to make other diamond tools or to make replacements or just to lavish your house with diamond blocks. I don't know, that's up to you. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it, and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.